So one thing that you might have noticed after doing the gizmos investigations with um, the integer disks or chips and with the number line is that subtracting um, kind of behaved in some interesting ways. So when you subtracted a negative, um, what you probably noticed was that it was actually like adding. And then it also had you rewrite a few other questions um, where it looked like subtracting a positive was the same as adding a negative. Um, and so again, if you're thinking in terms of the number line and thinking in terms of the direction that you move, subtraction normally means that you get smaller, you move to the left. But when you subtract a negative, the direction that you move is actually to the right. You actually get bigger. Likewise, when you subtract a positive, that's when you move to the left. So um, one thing that might be helpful, and again, it might not be, it, you might find it more useful to use integer chips or disks. You might find it more useful to use a number line. But one thing that um, often students find useful is to think in terms of changing all subtracting questions into adding questions. And then they can just follow how to add. And to change subtracting questions into adding questions, you add the opposite. So for example, if I were to change this question, I'm going to change this subtraction into an adding. But I can't just change it into an adding because 4 minus negative 5 is not the same as 4 plus negative 5. But I can add the opposite of negative 5, and the opposite of negative 5 is 5. So now what I've done is I've just changed that question into 4 plus 5, and I get 9. Likewise, I can change this one into adding the opposite of negative 6, which will be positive 6. And now I can think, what's negative 3 plus 6? So I can move along the number line, or I can think in terms of what's the difference between those numbers, and I get 3. This one, I'm going to add, what's the opposite of positive 2? Well, I'm going to add negative 2. What actually happens here is 6 plus negative 2 becomes 4. Add. Now, when there's no sign, remember in math, when there's no sign, it means positive. So I'm going to add the opposite of 8 or positive 8, and I get negative 8. So what's negative 4 plus negative 8? I'm going to get negative 12. Again, here I'm going to add the opposite of negative 2, which will be 2. Negative 3 plus 2 will be negative 1. Again, you can use the number line. You can think of yourself sitting at negative 3 and adding 2 to the right. Or you can think in terms of the difference between those numbers is 1 and the larger number is negative, so it happens to be negative 1. This one we're going to add the opposite of 6, which is negative 6. Negative 2 plus negative 6 will be negative 8. Add the opposite of 8, which will be negative 8. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. And add the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So what I want you to do is I want you to try these questions on your own. And you can try them in any way that you want, whatever way you think works best for you. As I said, a lot of students do find it uh, a little bit easier to change them into adding problems, uh, but you might prefer using integer disks, you might prefer using a number line. And what I want you to do is pause the video, try them, restart the video, see if you're right, and then if you get a lot wrong, I want you to ask your teacher for help and make sure that you go over it with your teacher so that you can understand. So pause the video now and try them. So here are the answers. I want you to mark your answers, see if, if you got them right or wrong. If you got a lot wrong, I want you to talk to your teacher. I want you to go over this and make sure that you understand and ask questions about your understanding.